Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing fans. Right, Sky Sports. We know what's been going on with all these football presenters, don't we? You know, they've all been... What's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? They've all been let go, haven't they? Charlie Nicholas, Phil Thompson, Matt Letizia, Scott Minto. They've got rid of them. They've got rid of them all, haven't they? Why are we not getting rid of the boxing crowd then? Because they're not doing the jobs right, are they? So why why are we getting rid of this football lot? I don't I don't I don't get it. I don't get it at all. It just doesn't sit well with me. Is it because they're not as clicky? I, I, I just don't know. I mean, who, who's 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 running who's running the show here? Who is running the show? I mean, been, this has been going on for far too long. This now it's like an old boys club, isn't it? What I want to know, has Mr Bean, a.k.a. Adam Smith at Sky Sports, has he got some on the, the people at Top Brass because they're running amok with their own little clique. Now, the football lot, they've split them all up, haven't they, and they're bringing in women, they're bringing in more black people, and, and they're making it uh, more media-friendly and all that. If, if that's how it's going, fair enough, but... They need to break this boxing lot up, don't they? Some of them need pensioning off. We need some new blood in there. We need new blood. And they need to rotate them. A bigger pool of boxers and, and fighters and experts in the game. We need to get ex-referees on board as well. Some of these referees that have retired, they need to come on board. Like they do with football, but... I'm not happy how it's going and, that, and I think it's become too clicky. That's how I'm speaking out. If people don't like it. Tough. You know, I'm just going to do what I want to do, I always have, I, w I always will, but I just think that it's, it's become a bit of a joke now and they don't seem to be shaking up the boxing like they do the football punditry people, so that's just my opinion. What do you think, the boxing fans? What do you think? All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you think and share the video with your pals if you think it's a good video. If you don't, just don't watch it. All right. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, don't have nightmares, alright? Have a good weekend, I am now, I'm now off out, I'm off out for a game of snooker, you might remember, on uh, Christmas Eve I got my cue dinner from, where did I get that cue from, place at Sheffield, but forgot, forgot, uh, I might have a name at company now, he didn't, he didn't do me any big favours though, but, I don't think I've got his card in here. Uh, well, that much rubbish in here. It's a place up at Sheffield anyway. But the queue I ended up with was a 1930 first edition Burrows and Watt. There you go, look at that. Woo! Look at that. 90 year old queue. And in them days, they were a ten and a half, ten and a half mil, you know, tip. I've had it reduced to nine mil, so I've had it f sort of refurbished and thinned out a bit. But in them days, they had ivory balls. Now nowadays, obviously, they're not made of ivory, and they're pretty, they play pretty fast. But I've had it refurbished, and I'm going to try it out today. So I'm looking forward to it. Going to escape away from boxing for today, away from this office. So, I'll just go a couple of pints of Guinness and Black, have a game of snooker on my own. The alternative, I could be in prison playing snooker with a broom handle. <laughs> so, alright, so everybody have a good weekend. I've got that Friday feeling. Yeah, it's coming up 5 o'clock on a Friday, so. Alright, so thanks for tuning in, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the videos. We're putting loads of effort in, and the uh, channel's moving forward now, so I want to thank people. If anybody is offended by anything I say on this channel, you know, because we are a bit close to the knuckle, and I am a bit blunt, but if you're going to put yourself out there and chat bullshit or blatant fantasy island stuff, I will be watching from afar, and I will mention it on my channel now. If you don't like it, don't watch. All right, it's as simple as that. But for those that are offended, well, stop being snowflakes and stop chatting rubbish. All right, so I'm not going to apologise. All right, I'm me. If you don't like it, you know what you can do, don't you? All right, don't have nightmares.